Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 Zombies video and this one is going to be a very very good one I can imagine you guys so go ahead and smash the like button if you go on and enjoy this video but let's get to this. So in this video I'm going to cover something which has been in Zombies for a very long time but we never really understood it. Now it finally makes sense. If you cast your memory back to World at War, we got the map Doris. Now Doris is set in a secret Nazi facility in Lower Silesia near Breslau, Germany. This map was the basis for most of the current zombie storyline. Dr. Maxis and Richthofen operated together under Group 935 where they created the Wonder Waffle DG2, they created the Hellhounds and Richthofen coming to a messy conclusion killing Dr. Maxis. Now a lot of things happened at Doris. Now the key thing to look at is the name Doris. The description for the map is as follows. The giant is rising. Face the might of the Nazi zombies in their heartland. This is where it all began. This is where the master plan took shape. Is this where it all ends? If we look at the letters from the field, there are two letters that link in with this level description. Nikolai describes whatever is in northern France as the Kaiser's war machine. The Kaiser is a German title meaning emperor an emperor's war machine, a machine built for war. We can assume that this is Dr. Maxis. But looking at Dempsey's letter from the field, he's being sent there as prototype armoured weaponry is being tested in northern France. This prototype armoured weaponry is either a giant metal man or giant metal men. Now the dates for all these letters are 1917 during the First World War. If Maxis has this giant metal man or men, why does he need it? Well, to defeat Richthofen, that's why. Dereix was a cover-up for Maxis's plans, where everyone assumed the area to be a German test facility for weapons and to improve the human condition. What really happened was Maxis was creating this giant metal man or men. It's in the name Dereix. It means the giant. And it's been hinted to us this entire time without us realising its true meaning. The boards around the map prove that northern France was a location that was thought about. There's an image of the Eiffel Tower with a zombie in front of it. Treyarch intended the fourth DLC map on Black Ops 1 to be set in Paris, but then changed to Moon. This helped develop several storyline elements, and now we can finally be brought to France for the next map. Now this next map is set before any other map in history, but that doesn't mean that the characters are not aware of the events that they've experienced during World of War and Black Ops 1 when we come to play this map. This is all because of time travel. Now my theory is that after the events of Buried when Maxis becomes the announcer, Richthofen goes back in time to northern France to control his own body with Samantha still inside along with the old crew to stop this war machine from destroying everything. When Maxis gains control in Buried, he is now closer to reaching Argafa and describes his next plan as the Purge. Now we're not too sure what he means by the Purge, but the definition for it means to rid of sin, guilt or defilement. Thinking logistically, this could mean destroying the earth to get rid of every impurity, which are the zombies and Richthofen of course because they're both evil. Either way, the next map is going to unveil so many different story elements and I'm very very excited. I'll be bringing out a storyline video in the next day or two summarising everything that's happened in Black Ops 2 Zombies so be sure to look out for that. I know you will all enjoy it so subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. Leave your theories in the comments section below and I'll see you very soon. And as just something I'll put at the end of the video, when we died on Die Rise we heard the sound of a prison door being unlocked which hinted to Mob of the Dead. Now there is a secret hidden sound file in Buried, in the PC files, which might link into the sound of this machine, this war machine, but we don't actually hear it when we're actually playing the map. So I'm going to leave you guys with this sound, and you guys can leave in the comment section what you believe this sound to be. See you soon.